So today I'm going to talk about the teleportation service and in particular bringing data with you when you go to a new place. I'm not just talking about like uh, moving the C-frame to one platform to another. I'm talking about actually um, switching uh, game spaces. So that's a little tricky and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So first thing, go to your game settings and under your options, Enable Studio Access to API Services. You need this for your teleportation service. And we'll go ahead and save it. And now let's go to our view, Game Explorer, and then under Places, go ahead and add a new place. So I am in place 24 and I want to move to place 31. So let's now let's go ahead and add a part as a teleportation pad. There we go, a little cylinder. And I'll call this teleportation, teleport pad. That's good enough. And let's go ahead, make it like red. And then change the size. Let's make it 0.2 by uh, 10 by 10 change the orientation so it looks more like a pad so 0, 0, 90 I'm going to anchor it too so it doesn't move around when I step on it there we go and under here we're going to add a script so that when we step on it it's going to teleport us so I'm going to say teleport what does it call teleport alright so we need a reference to that teleport uh, pad I'm just going to call it pad script parent and then I also need a reference to my teleportation service so I'm just going to call it T service T service there we go game get service teleportation service and we need our place ID to where we're going right and that's how you do it just go down here to the place you want to go to copy ID to clipboard, paste it, and you're good to go. I'm going to click on this so I don't forget where I'm at. There we go. And now let's do our function called change place. And it's going to be the other part that steps on, you know, the, per the person who steps on the pad. Say so local, human, other part, parent, Find first child. It's a humanoid. So if humanoid, then I'm gonna get the player. We gotta teleport the player, not the humanoid. So game players, and then I wanna get. I wanna get a player from character. If this is a humanoid, then this right here is the character part. Just go like that. And let's check to see if we got them. Otherwise, it might be null. Well, now let's get our data that we want to send. So this is probably where I would get the session data um, from my game manager. But we're just going to call it, let's just call it data. It's going to be a table, right? And let's put something in it. So we'll say data car because I want. Let's say I picked a car here, and I want to. I want to clone it in my new world like it came with me. So we'll say Ford GTX. There we go. And now we'll get our T service, our teleportation service. We'll do our teleport. We got our place ID. We got a player. And let's just take our data. Alright, and then let's make it so that when we step on that pad, the touched event is connected to our change place. Get rid of those two parentheses that always pop up. And we're good. So now let's go ahead and I'm going to save this. Publish Roblox. I'm going to need to make sure that it's public also because you can't test this or is it permissions you can't test this in studio there we go 
Go ahead and push it again for good measure. All right, now I'm going to go to my uh, place number 31. And we should end up here. Is that what we had before in the other one? 24? Oh, yeah, that's cool. So it's got both of our places recorded for us. All right, now all I want to do is have a little UI showing the data that I brought um, just to make it simple. And I forgot what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, go to Starter GUI, Screen GUI, and Text Label. And I say my car. And let's go ahead and move it. Um, so 0 0.5 and 0 0.2. I'll make 0 0.5 and 0.5. Let's make it right in the middle of the, the anchor point, right in the middle of the label. And that way, go 0 0.5 and 0.5. It's going to show up right in the middle of the screen. And I'm just going to make the text scaled so it's a little bigger. That's good enough. I'm going to add my label, my local, uh, a, uh, a local script to my label. And I'm going to call this um, show car label. So local label script. Parent. And now I need my teleportation service. I'm going to call it T service again. And we get that from game, get service, teleportation service. I need to do that because that's where my data is. So that part's good. Let me see. We we'll go down here, local, and let's get our data. Our data. And this is what came over the T service. I call that T service. There we go. I'm going to say get local player data. So if we get data, which you know we should in our example, then let's go ahead and display it. So I'll say data. I had my car, right? And I'll say label text car and then else there's no data so I'm just going to say label text no data that way we'll know if we fail all right let's go ahead and save this publish to Roblox now I'm going to go back to my other game here that's not my other game it's not my other game there we go and I'm going to play it but I need to copy this link because I actually need to do it in the in the Roblox player. So let me see if I can get my, there we go. This is probably the same place, but I'm just gonna make sure. Oh no, that was 24. Go ahead and go in. It's starting. Might have to shrink this down. Hold on a second, it's in full screen. There we go. You guys can see that, right? All right, there's my teleportation pad. Make it a little bigger. I get on there. And it's just going to take a second. I should put a little GUI up saying we're teleporting. And look, there's my four GTX. So I brought it with me. And that's how you would, and then you would just clone it. You'd send that. You'd execute your um, remote event to server script service go in the server storage and then clone your car. So that's how you do it.